Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today with heavy metal and I have one of my absolute favorite bing bangs out here. That being my CVA Scout N35 Welling. Now, if you're not familiar with the 35 Welling, go check out a Ron Spomer video. Just type in Ron Spomer 35 Welling. He's going to give you a ton of information, the history on the round, and a whole bunch of stuff. I've watched that video about three different times. But go check out that Ron Spomer video if you want to learn the history of the 35 Welling. But I had a good reason to bring out my 35 today to the range because I was able to find some more ammunition. This is some Remington Core Locked 35 Welling in the 200 grain projectile. Previously, I found some Remington Express Rifle in 35 Welling, 250 grain, and this CVA Scout absolutely loved it. Let me roll in that footage here real quick. Here we go. We kissed that bullseye with the Remington. Now let's put two more up there. See where they land here. Very good trigger on this thing. Still there, right there in the bullseye. Remember that circle is a penny that I trace, so so far we're still inside a penny sized group. Number three for the Remington. Might be hard to beat this one. Oh, yeah. CVA Scout 35 well and loves those Remingtons. So, the CVA loved the 250 grain. I've also tested out some lighter stuff like 180 grain, 185, and it loved it as well. Honestly, I've never found a factory loading that this 35 well and did not like. But, like I said, I found some of this core locked 200 grain stuff. And I said, hey, we got to bring it out to the range. And I was able to get three boxes of it. So I have not yet filmed a deer hunt with the 35. We're going to do our best to make that happen this season. We're going to test it at 100 yards, see what kind of groups we get. And if it's getting good groups, like I expected to, we'll sight this baby in uh, to be dead on at 100 for this year's deer season. And we'll be good to go. But let's slow down. Uh, get this CVA up here in the lead sled and see how these 35 wellings in the 200 grain variety are going to group for us. Let me give you a quick up close look at these. Like I said, Remington Core Locks 200 grainers. Never tested 200 grainers out of this scout rifle yet, but that's why we make these videos. I'm super excited absolutely love that cva if you're not familiar with those scouts go check them out but enough rambling let's get to flinging them should be a whole lot of fun i'm gonna go turn the cameras on all right so here we go back at the table i've got some targets down range i don't think i told you yet about this scope i've got a real nice little pulled vx3 hd on here it's got four and a half to 14 zoomies super nice piece of glass on this thing like it's one of it's one of our deer hunting bing bangs i wanted to make sure that we have a real nice piece of glass on here but enough yapping let's get to slinging them that's why we're here the cva scout is a single shot let's see what it thinks about these 200 grainers all the zooms at 14 zoomies here we go. And like I said, if this gets a good group, I'll go ahead and sight this uh, rifle in with this ammo to be dead on at 100 so we'll be ready for deer season. But let's do two three-shot groups and just see what she thinks about it here. Got to pull the hammer back. Woo! And to tell you the truth, I jumped the trigger hard on that one. This thing has a lot nicer trigger than uh, another rifle I was just shooting. So we're probably going to discount that one 
and keep on going with another three shots. We'll see what happens. But I, when I broke that trigger, it was not on the bullseye. Let's try it again. Very nice trigger on these. Yeah, so that hit a little bit lower than the first one. We'll send another one. So, that second and the third one, I had a good trigger squeeze. That felt like a good squeeze. Let's do two more on that same target. Third one on that target. So, it's not grouping as well as the 250 grain heavier ones did. What do we need to do? Let's give it one click left. And what's the up and down looking like? Let's go ahead and give it four clicks down. And let's do another three shot group. I want to get a better group than what we got so far here. So, we're pretty well sighted in with this ammo now on oh, this 35 well. And let's go up there a little closer and see what kind of groups we did. All right, so walking up to our target here, I just measured all the groups with some calipers. And really, it's pretty consistent getting about an inch and a half group. So, there's our first one, 1.56 inch group. Then our second one, 1.84. Then I adjusted the scope a little bit to sight in that CVA with this particular 200 grainer. And got the best group out of the bunch, 1.44 inch group. That one was looking like a one inch group without that one, but always gotta have a squirrel one in there. But hey, 100 yard group with that 200 grain ammo my 35 welling is pretty consistent in there, averaging about a one and a half inch group there. But there you have it guys, you never know until you try. We tried today and putting this CVA together with that 200 grain core locked, you saw there on the tape we're averaging about an inch and a half group. Now, I think we'll roll that tape in again here of the 250 grainers. I think this thing likes those heavier ones a little bit better. It's been a while since I filmed that video, but still, hey, for 35 whaling at 100 yards, inch and a half is probably plenty good enough to go smoke some whitetails in the woods where we're probably only gonna have a 50 yard shot anyways. But hey, super happy, super excited to find some more and get my hands on some of this 35. It's definitely not as common as, you know, 308, 270, 30 out 6. So, a little bit harder to find the 35 well. The neat thing about this, there are now some states that allow you to deer hunt during the primitive season or muzzle loader season or flintlock season. Some states are now letting you use this cartridge in the primitive deer season so if you're in one of those states man pick one of these suckers up uh, i love these cva scouts i've filmed them in several different calibers and this 35 hey it's awesome and it will drop a deer uh, it's like hitting them with a freight train we're going to try to film it this uh, coming season what would be even cooler is if we put a shusher can on this baby stay tuned for that definitely gonna make it happen but appreciate y'all watching like i said range day real quick today 
seeing how my CVA Scout likes those 200 grainers. It likes them at about an inch and a half group. But appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Make sure you're subscribed to Heavy Metal. Make sure you're subscribed to Hootie Hoo. We'll catch you on the next one. 35 Whaling. Hootie Hoo. Load it up and